Zilo. Hello and welcome, Samantha. Good to have you on. Hi, Vijaya. Nice to be here. Um, it, you know, thank you for having us. Wonderful to have you. And Samantha, tell us about the importance of maintaining contact with the National Visa Center, and how do you go about doing that? Yeah, so that's a really good question, and unfortunately, it's a problem that we come across almost daily in our office. Um, so essentially, once an immigrant petition has been approved, uh, whether it's an employment-based I-140 or a family-based I-130, and the applicant is not in the U.S. or will be processing through the consulate, the case is then sent to the National Visa Center um, or the NVC. The applicant uh, will then receive some sort of notification from the National Visa Center. Uh, it's called a case creation notification or case creation letter. Uh, and that letter will have a case number and an invoice ID. And what that does is it allows access for the applicant to log on to the SEAC website or the National Visa Center's portal where mm -hmm. they can upload documents, pay any fees, uh, and submit applications so that their case can be then placed in line for an interview at the consulate. And what's really important is that under um, INA Section 203G, if an applicant fails to apply for a visa or contact the National Visa Center within one year of that notice, uh, the petition may be terminated. Uh -huh. And all fees may be gone, that long waiting period um, that we know in some cases will be wasted. So, you know, it, it's very difficult and you can request reinstatement um, of your case within one year of the termination. Uh, but you'll have to repay those fees. So many times what we see is that the National Visa Center will issue case creation letters or emails before the visa is current. And you know our recommendation would be to continue to follow up with National Visa Center at least once a year just to keep the case active, even if the priority date is not current, because you don't want to run into a situation where you're going to have to start all over. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, we, we also find in some cases clients just aren't ready to proceed, whether it's because they want to wait a bit longer in their home country or because they're processing a waiver in the U.S. Uh, that they need approved beforehand. So whatever the case may be, uh, if they're not ready, that's OK. But it's important to maintain that contact with the National Visa Center once a year. Um, this is is that, uh, sorry to interrupt, but is that through phone or uh, by online? So that's a really good question. It used to be that we could contact via phone. Unfortunately, that you know that's not an option anymore. The only way to contact them is through uh, sending an inquiry to the National Visa Center through their Ask NVC website. Mm -hmm. um, or in some cases, you're able to log in using your login credentials, uh, and that will maintain the case. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really important, especially for priority-based cases where you know, there could be a 15 or even 20 year wait for the case to be approved. And now you're needing to start all over if you haven't maintained this contact. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very important, uh, you know, to not only maintain contact, but also to keep proof of these. Yes. So if you're logging in, take a screenshot that shows the date. Uh, or if you're sending an inquiry, save a copy of it for your records. Because I have seen some situations where the National Visa Center may claim that you haven't contacted them. But if you have that proof, it will really help with the reinstatement. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Samantha. Uh, you know, makes great sense keeping contact and communication like in all things, but also with the National Visa Center. So important. So thank you for that. And that's Samantha Oberstein of the NPZ Law Group, helping you with the A to Z of U.S. and Canadian immigration. Call them today at 201-670-0006 or log on to VisaServe.